All right, folks, welcome to the video. Anthony Special here with Hawkeye Traders. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Want to talk about um, a couple differences here in breaking out of trend lines or channel structures, employing volume uh, to your benefit. Uh, I like to look at things that I've identified in real time. The reason I enjoy that is because there's some credibility behind it, right? If I can identify what's happening in real time, it's uh, you know a little more credible than just looking back and saying, oh, in hindsight, um, I would have done A, B, C, or one, two, three. So uh, while I focus a lot on the things that I personally trade, just keep in mind the thought process behind the analysis itself, um, the interpretation, the volume, the price action is applicable on all time frames across all market assets. So we're gonna be looking at two different scenarios in this video uh, of breakouts through this trend line or channel structure. Um, it is in fact both. So whether you had it drawn as complete or not, that's totally up to your discretion. But if you notice at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we had a break of this channel structure. And then again, later in the morning at 11.21 Eastern Standard Time, we also had a break of this structure. Now the first break was on a wide bar on ultra high buying volume. You can see this is the highest volume traded you know, to, to this point in the session. And we get an immediate push we don't necessarily close probably in the top 10%, and then we get immediate failure, all right? So this is very common. This is called a volume climax. So you need to be very careful about trying to trade super aggressive breakouts with ultra high volume if there is no immediate follow through. More often than not, this turns into a failed scenario, okay? You can see price ultimately failed, re-entered the channel structure below the trend line and then produce the opportunity to use the trend line or the channel structure as resistance okay because once it broke back below it was no longer to be considered support it was now considered to be resistance and it really did provide a very beautiful opportunity to short this basically right across the channel structure for roughly over 50 ticks this is a trade that I actually placed, um, and that's why I kind of wanted to focus on this. And I also want to talk about what's happening here, because now we're going to use the volume. We use the volume in the first scenario here to disprove any follow through, right? Ultra high buying volume. You can see the red radar dot there. We have the purple magenta wide bar. Tells us that we really need to be careful that if price does not immediately follow through, that it's probably not going to. And that's ultimately what produced the opportunity here to then take the short as we came back and failed at the channel structure. Now, we're gonna fast forward a little bit, a little later in the morning here, and we're gonna focus on the breakout of the channel structure here at 11.21. I want you to notice that we broke out on a somewhat reasonable uptick in volume, okay? It wasn't obnoxious, there was no radar dot, Right, so just on a, a somewhat normal, reasonable uptick, we did break out with increased volume. So what am I then looking for? I'm looking for a retest of what was previously resistance should now be support. And when I get that retest, what do I wanna see? I now wanna see volume increase after testing, right, after testing that area of support. You can see here at 1130, price popped up at 1121. We pulled back, the volume started to increase, the buyer's presence started to increase here at support, and then you can see the very next candle exploded higher, all right? Through a wide bar, a wide bar that finished all the way at the tippy top, and then went on to move again another 50 plus ticks. So you had a 100 plus tick opportunity here to the downside, and then you consequently just shortly later in the morning, using the exact same trend line, employing the volume, right, into your analysis, you had an upward push in the market of over 50 plus ticks. Guys, that's incredible, right? But it really comes down to, can you identify what the volume is doing at certain given points in time. Now, randomly picking volume and randomly picking price action without having any market context 
is not going to afford you a great trading experience. Okay. I needed to identify that this area was meaningful because now I can approach the volume, I can approach the price action around that area specifically to decide if there's an opportunity or if there's not an opportunity. This trend line played a vital role in being resistance here after this failed breakout and then being support here after this confirmed breakout. The failed breakout was identified by this wide bar and this huge volume climax, the red volume radar dot, and initially failing. Right? The breakout here was identified by an increase in buying volume, a retest, proving it now to be support, and as price began to its ascent here, you can see that the volume began to ascend as well. So that's just two of many ways you can apply an interpretation of both volume and price action to your trading these again were identified live in real time. The reason I like to share with you what I do in real time and live is so that you know that this is not hindsight. So if you enjoyed this video, I want you to just go below, make sure you like it, feel free to leave a comment, I'll be happy to respond to it. But more importantly, if you feel that you could benefit from this knowledge, if you feel like you could benefit from tools that print actual volume and can give you a radar dot and can give you a wide bar, and can give you a methodology that goes along with it to simplify and identify the interaction between volume and price. I'm going to leave a link below this and I want you to click on it, right? It's going to be a short training webinar. Dive into some of the content. Reach out to myself, my Hawkeye Concierge team. Let us answer your questions. Guys, if you are not employing volume and price action into the foundation of your trading, I can assure you, you are missing the bigger picture right it wasn't until i started doing this myself that my trading really suffered a severe improvement right a pivotal point where i was like i can't get it right i can't find consistency i can't find discipline because i was looking at the wrong thing i was looking at some trying to find some magical indicator to do it for me when in reality i had to become the magical indicator and the magical indicator is an indicator that interprets volume and price action. And that's what our goal is to help you do here at Hawkeye. We're gonna provide you with the volume paint bar, provide you with the wide bar, provide you with the pivots, provide you with the Hawkeye volume, provide you with the radar dots, all right? Then we're gonna give you access to the Hawkeye Mastery Library, where you're gonna be able to understand and grow on all of the things I just shared with you in this very short video. So don't hesitate, do me a favor, go below this video. I don't want you to get distracted. Watch the training webinar, reach out to myself, reach out to my Hawkeye Concierge team, ask whatever questions you have. Let us help you take the next step in your trading journey through volume and price action. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless and have a wonderful day.